On today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm sharing the seven best testosterone booster foods for men. Guys, thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Brad Guthrow and I help men in their 30s and 40s live lean 365 days a year. So as a happily married, 42 year old dad of two kids, I'm well aware of the positive impact that optimizing your testosterone has on living a fit, healthy, energetic, and driven lifestyle. In fact, in a previous video, I shared my journey of struggling with low testosterone in my 20s and 30s and the eight ways I naturally doubled my testosterone in my late 30s and 40s. So based on that video, I received so many DMs on my Instagram from guys struggling with the effects of low testosterone. So first of all, if you are in your 30s and you're struggling with low testosterone, trust me, there is nothing to be ashamed of and you are not alone. Today's lifestyle and environment has led to a testosterone deficiency in 20 to 50% of men. And according to the Cleveland Clinic and many other medical publications, symptoms of low testosterone in men may include reduced sex drive, erectile dysfunction, depressed mood, increased body fat, reduced lean muscle mass, fatigue and decreased endurance, gynomastia, i.e. enlarged breast tissue, depression, and irritability. So in other words, if you feel like you lost your self-confidence and your drive to go after what you want in life, you may be struggling with low testosterone. So the good news is you can naturally increase your testosterone with quality sleep, physical activity in the form of resistance training, losing excess weight, and optimizing your diet with three key nutrients. But before I share the three key nutrients to boost testosterone, it's important to first take a simple at-home test to check your testosterone levels. So this is a great way to get a baseline of where you are today so you can measure your progress as you change your lifestyle to naturally optimize your testosterone production. So I've been working with today's video sponsor, Let's Get Checked, for over two years to monitor my testosterone levels. Let's Get Checked is the leader in at-home testing. So this means you don't have to visit a doctor's office. So once you order the at-home test kit online, it shows up at your doorstep in a few days. So the kit provides you with everything you need to easily self-administer the finger prick test. So simply follow the provided easy to follow directions to collect your blood sample in the morning, then mail it back in the provided prepaid envelope. You will then receive your results in the secure Let's Get Checked app within two to five days. And if your results come back abnormal, a nurse can reach out to you for support. So it's never been this simple to test your testosterone levels. So if you're interested in the testosterone test, use the link with the 25% off coupon LiveLean25. So with all that said, let's jump into the seven best testosterone booster foods for men. Now there are many different ways when it comes to optimizing your testosterone. But today I wanna to focus specifically on nutrition. So according to a peer reviewed study on PubMed called The Causes of Adverse Changes in Testosterone Levels in Men, your testosterone production can be negatively impacted when your diet is deficient in three nutrients. Correcting a deficiency in these three vitamins and minerals provides a greater opportunity to boost your testosterone. Based on this, the seven best testosterone booster foods for men that I'm about to share are all high in one one of or all three of these nutrients. I'm referring to vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium. So let's briefly talk about each of these nutrients along with the recommended dietary allowance and how you can test to see if you are deficient in any of these nutrients at home. Number one, vitamin D. So vitamin D helps regulate testosterone production. And unfortunately, there are only a few natural sources of foods high in vitamin D. Even with foods marketed as being fortified with vitamin D, it's hard to get enough vitamin D through diet alone. So this is why supplementing with vitamin D and getting adequate sunlight exposure is so important for boosting testosterone. However, if you don't have access to adequate sunlight all year round, you may need to supplement your vitamin D production with foods high in vitamin D and supplements. So according to the National Institute of Health, seven foods naturally high in vitamin D include cod liver oil, trout, salmon, mushrooms, sardines, eggs, 
and beef liver. So when it comes to foods fortified with vitamin D, you can get orange juice, dairy or plant and nut milks or cereals. So according to exam.com, the US and Canadian government's RDA for vitamin D for a 19 to 50 year old male and female is 800 international units or 20 micrograms. However, here's a quick note for you. This RDA is highly criticized as being too low by many experts. So the next question is, how much of each of these nutrients should I take? Well, the answer is always it depends on you and your current baseline. Now, this is why I always push my clients to take a more data-driven approach to their health by getting blood work done. That is the only way to know if you are deficient in any of these nutrients. So a few months ago, I had my vitamin D, my zinc, and my magnesium levels checked via Let's Get Checks at home micronutrient test. So according to Let's Get Checked, the normal blood level ranges for vitamin D is 30 to 80. And my vitamin D blood levels came back within the normal range at 54.5. So to provide context, I get adequate exposure all year round since I live in Southern California. And I also take a supplement from Earth Nutri that includes 5,000 IUs of vitamin D. So if you don't live close to the equator and you don't supplement with vitamin D, you may be shocked at your vitamin D levels. And according to a Harvard post on vitamin D, approximately 1 billion people in the world have inadequate levels of vitamin D. So I'll also link up the at-home micronutrient test from Let's Get Checked down below so you can check your vitamin D, your zinc, and your magnesium levels as well. Okay, number two is zinc. So a deficiency in zinc can also lead to a lower production of testosterone. So if you sweat a lot, it's important to note that zinc and magnesium is lost through sweat. Therefore, if you naturally sweat a lot through exercise, you may be at a higher probability of being deficient in zinc. So foods high in zinc primarily come from animal products, including meat, fish, and seafood. However, if you are a vegan, vegetarian, or primarily plant-based, zinc is also found in some nuts and grains. So according to the National Institute of Health, seven foods high in zinc include oysters, beef, blue crab, oats, pumpkin seeds, pork chops, and turkey breast. And there are also cereals fortified with zinc. However, getting zinc naturally from foods is always better. And according to exam.com, the RDA for zinc for males is 11 milligrams of zinc per day, and for females, eight milligrams of zinc per day. So according to Let's Get Checked, the normal blood level ranges for zinc is 0.6 to 1.2. So after I took the micronutrient test from Let's Get Checked, I found my zinc blood levels came back slightly higher than the normal range at 1.24. So although excessive levels of zinc can be harmful, since my levels are only slightly above the normal range and boosting testosterone levels is important for me, I'm happy with this result. And number three, magnesium. So if you're struggling with low levels of testosterone and magnesium, an increase in magnesium consumption may help you boost your testosterone levels. Increasing your magnesium consumption can also indirectly positively impact your vitamin D production since magnesium helps convert more vitamin D into its active form. Fortunately, there are many foods high in magnesium that you can add to your diet. So according to the National Institute of Health, seven foods high in magnesium include pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, almonds, spinach, cashews, peanuts, and shredded wheat. And according to exam.com, the RDA for magnesium for 31 to 50 year old males is 420 milligrams of magnesium per day, and for 31 to 50 year old females, 321 milligrams of magnesium per day. And according to Let's Get Checked, the normal blood level ranges for magnesium is 16 to 26. So after taking the micronutrient test from Let's Get Checked, I found my magnesium blood levels came back in the normal range at 24.71. Okay, now with all that said, let's get into the seven best testosterone booster foods for men. As mentioned, if you are low in vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium, foods high in these vitamins and minerals may help you naturally increase your testosterone. Now, in addition to this, Healthy fats are also the building blocks of boosting testosterone naturally as the cholesterol can help produce more testosterone. So based on all this, the following seven testosterone booster foods not only fulfill these requirements, they will also help you lose excess weight and build muscle, which is essential for optimal testosterone production. I'm referring to salmon or any fatty fish, grass-fed beef, sardines, eggs, pumpkin seeds, 
spinach or most leafy greens, and oysters or other shellfish. So the bottom line here, guys, is make sure you are getting sufficient levels of vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium in your diet. And to ensure that you are, take that micronutrient test to see where your current levels are of those three key testosterone boosting nutrients. And if you're low in any of them, add in more of those testosterone booster foods. Also, if you wanna learn all eight ways that I use to naturally double my testosterone, I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. So thanks for watching guys and keep living lean.